across the Red River and we are now visiting McGee Creek State Park. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. You can see I'm all bundled up because it is very, very frigid. It is cold, in other words. I have traveled north into the Great White North. Actually, not Great White North. I just crossed the Red River into Oklahoma, and we are now visiting McGee Creek State Park. And I got the scooter little red so I've got a little red I've got the GoPro 9 and I got you so let's go take a ride through McGee Creek State Park we are ready to ride ready to rumble all right one more one more adjustment Cue the music! So McGee Creek State Park in Oklahoma. It is January 16, 2021. It is cold. But that's alright. I'm going to suffer through it just for you. Not to mention it's fun because there's very few people in this beautiful campground. I don't know a whole lot about the history of McGee Creek Lake or actually about the state park. I do know that uh, there's no real gate access. Right now with uh, COVID-19 you have to the, the recommendations are for you to reserve your site online rather than at the visitor center. And once you have your reservations, you just go to your campsite. You don't actually have to get a sticker or a, anything like that. I have seen quite a few deer since I've been here. I think that's, you know, and some birds, but it's really too cold for much of anything else. Anything that's smart enough is snuggled up someplace warm. It's a very hilly park. Lots of up and down. Mouth is cold, so it's hard to talk. I think the temperature right now is about 35 degrees. And the wind, the wind chill, has it down in the, the 20s. It's not a real large park, fortunately for me. There are actually two loops. Total run is gonna be about five miles here we are crossing the dam from McGee Creek this this is kind of an interesting lake the way they got it laid out and you'll see what I mean when we go uh, as this video progresses Ooh. 
man, that wind is rough. We'll be heading over there first. We gotta climb the hill. Now there are two entrances to McGee Creek State Park, but the one is coming in off of gravel road, so it's not likely you're gonna come in that way. Just say, unless you're local or you get lost and Google takes you out of the way. Got to do some slalom to get up the hill. Fortunately with this new battery pack, I don't have to do quite as much of that. Can't give you as much gab as I normally do because the mouth is cold. All right, so we're gonna visit the Buster Height area first. Named after a gentleman who apparently was some type of conservationist uh, that was from this area. Sort of run down here to the day use area, boat ramp. is not nearly as strong today as it was yesterday. Yesterday there were white caps all across the lake. So they have a courtesy dock. Well, the lake, I don't know this for a fact, but I, I'm pretty sure this lake is, is way below its normal level. So there's your courtesy dock and boot ramp. All right. They have a swim beach here that is uh, one of the most handicap friendly beaches that I have seen in my travels. Sorry about the sun in your eyes. That's the trouble with shooting video this time of year is the sun is low on the horizon. Lots of steep hills in this park. Look at this beautiful maintenance area. Man, just beautiful, and, and it's winter. I can only imagine how beautiful this place is during the summer when everything is green. Of course, one of the park staff that we passed back there, I had a conversation with her this morning, and if you're watching, thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. Um, but she was telling me that during the summer, this park is just absolutely nuts. Crazy busy pack. So this is where the beach is. It's gravel, 
So we're not going to go down there. Right, you want to get to the to the meat of the stuff, and that's RV camping loop. Right. So you can jump over to the experiential video, and you can see the, the handicap tent sites and the beach, the fishing dock. There's Miss V. All of these sites are just, they're so pretty. I mean, we're in the pine trees, but what can I say? And, and it gets better. Before I did that battery pack swap, I would not be able to do this in one run. I would have had to split this into two different runs and splice them together. All right, so that's the end of this RV camping loop. If you're looking for a good handicap site, number number 25 is a nice one on the Buster Height loop. Now, if you're coming during the summer, you're going to want to go to the other loop. which is where we're headed now. Keep you straight. I hope we get to see some deer run across the road. That'd be cool. Man, oh man, is it cold. I know, I'm complaining. There we go. Breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> I need to learn the rest of that song. Right, this is the spillway, the overflow for the lake. I bet it has been uh, overflowed a couple of times. I don't know. I uh, haven't asked anybody about that. But from what I learned uh, when I was on, when I met, what am I trying to say? When I met Gopher and Booger on Hugo Lake, uh, they, they told me that these lakes really flood up here. Lots of hills. I know you guys don't like the slalom part of the video. Just fast forward a little bit. But just think, you might get to see Bigfoot, and you would miss out on that! And you don't want to miss out on seeing Bigfoot, do you? Got a car. Long 
long, long hill. All right, we're almost there. No more cars behind me. Now we go down. And normally that's the fun part, but as cold as it is. Whew. And oh, by the way, the, we're driving into the wind. All right, we're almost to the top of the, the whole run. Pardon me for not having a whole lot of conversation with you. <laughs> the big old hawk. Or is that an eagle? Couldn't tell. Some kind of raptor. if you caught it or if I caught it on the camera or not. We'll see in editing. All right. Now we have made it to the Patapo area. Uh, Patapo? Pa Patapo. Potato. Potato. Patapo. I lost something. Ah. I lost a wire. Camera cable. It'll be alright until I get to where I'm going. I just thought I was done climbing hills. <laughs> this one is really giving my legs a workout. This park. A primitive camping area. Next to the Patapo Hill Trail.
All right, now we got a steep one to go down. Quickie break. All right, so we are going to tour the Lake Hutch Loop. Briefly, we're not gonna go too far. We're not gonna go all the way to the end, but it's, it's a pretty little drive, so we'll cruise down here. They're Lake Hutch. They're not cottages or cabins. They have no plumbing, but they do have some type of wood burning fireplace or stove. So there's, there's no toilets, no showers. You have to use the shower that we just passed right there. And strangely enough, you have to pay for the shower. You have to pay for that shower. Now over here at the comfort station, or over by the comfort, over at the comfort station, what am I trying to say? There's a big comfort station down here that has showers that you don't have to pay for. That's what I am trying to say. All right. There's another boat ramp on this side of the park. I'll ease up here and let you have a look at it. There you go. Handicap friendly courtesy dock. I really gotta say thanks to the state of Oklahoma for how much attention they have given to the handicap accessibility of this state park. We gotta slow down on this loop because they tore up the road. But we gotta take a look at these sites over here. These, these sites are just cool. They're right on the edge. I don't know if we're going to be able to get up here without having to get off and walk. Fresh gravel, you know. Alright. So. If you're coming out here to McGee Creek State Park, you might want to consider the Patapo Loop. But if you're having to navigate on a wheelchair or mobility scooter, just keep in mind there's no asphalt. As of this video, and it is a rough gravel road. But the sites are so, I mean, the, the campsites are so incredible. And really, that brings us to the end of our ride through McGee Creek State Park. So we're going to whip right in here and we're going to close it out. 
because y'all don't need to see me go back up that big hill. All right. How cool is that? Man, these rides are so much fun. I sure appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. If this, if, easy for me to say, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I would be very honored if you would click on the subscribe button and remember to tap that bell as well. I post new content every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. For those of you who have been riding along, thank you. I'm very, very honored. That's why I do what I do. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?